What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to rating my subs cars. So this uh, this is a video that I've done like almost a year ago. I think just like 10 months ago or something like that. But I decided to go back and try and revisit it and see what else people decide to send over. And obviously uh, I'm not going to be reviewing the same cars that I have already gotten. So there's a list of cars here that I've seen some people uh, reply to me with and we're gonna have a look at all of them and see what you guys that are watching my videos right now are driving now if you want to take part if you want to you know maybe try this in a future video or whatever you want to try and get your car in or whatever you can also join the discord uh the link to that is down below Four thousand members in the discord pretty sick i'm not gonna lie um yeah obviously people are joining you know they they participate in whatever they want to participate in um i also talk to people in this discord all the time the general chat and dealer chats and stuff like that this is where you can get codes, you can get track codes, you can post ideas for videos, there's leaderboards, there's uh, real life cars, or photos, memes, whatever it is that you guys want to partake in, in this Discord, it's there, but it's all for my community. So, let's get started with today's video. Starting off with a 2011 Tiguan with some, uh, is that Barbette wheels? Am I right in saying that? Or is that Brabus? What, what logo is that? I think it's, I think it's Barbet, right? I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway. 2011 Tiguan was not my favorite, to be honest with you. I think the one that replaced this, the Tiguan that replaced this, is actually just better looking in general. This one just, I I, it, I just don't feel it. I'm not a big fan of this Tiguan, to be honest with you. Not your car, but just the Tiguan in general. It's just, eh. Well, there you go. Anyway, let's go to a slightly nicer car. I'm not a big fan of the wheels, though. But this Z, I think this Z4 is such a sick generation of a car. I don't know why. It's just the shape and whatever of it. It just looks really, really clean. Especially if you get the coupe version of it. Or whatever, the hatchback version of it, if you want to call it like that. I don't know. Basically, there's a vision of this car where you get it with the, the hatchback like this. And it looks so sick. You can get the Z3, but you can also get the Z4 if I remember correctly. Um, that? I don't know if it's like the Z4M or something like that. But it looks very, very sick. I actually really like these. I haven't seen one of these in such a long time. The really cool thing about this thing is uh, on the side you don't actually see like a little side marker, like indicator, right? On the side. It's actually behind the badge and it illuminates around the badge and that little like area, the, the little cut in that's in there, it kind of illuminates orange whenever you're turning on your indicator. That's the one thing that I've noticed with this thing, like, I don't know, like 15, 20 years ago, whenever I, I realized the... Uh, the, this thing. It, it's just funny. I'm just not a big fan of the wheels. Overall, though, it's a cool car. Um, maybe you get some better shots of it next time instead of you just walking out your walking out to your driveway and just taking a quick snapshot. Because you can't see much much of this thing. It's just sort of like one picture from the side. Next up, we got an E46 Touring. Okay. I like these. I do like these. I'm not sure if I like this. This looks like a beater, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because it's really dirty. Maybe it's just winter. That's probably why. But it's just really dirty. Like, you're even missing, like, the, the bit for the headlight washers, the little covers and everything. E46 SE, right? It's gotta remove the red details on the rims and fix the rust issues. Yeah, there you go. So it's a bit of a beater. It's cool. I like these. Not very many of these driving around, to be honest. Not, not very many. Um, yeah, I definitely replaced the wheels. I don't really like the wheels at all. And I don't like the aftermarket weird halo headlights. Like, I'd rather have them, like, either original or just have, like, just the OEM or OE uh, standard headlights. Like, OEM Plus or whatever you want to call them. Um, but, yeah. I like these. This is, like, the LCI as well, isn't it? Because it has a different bumper at the front and different lights. I'm pretty sure. This is the LCI. Cool. This is actually one of the cooler ones that, uh, that someone has sent me. That's very cool. A 911 Targa. That is very, very cool. <laughs> so my musty air cool Targa from 1982 or something. That's very, very cool. What a cool car, though. See, I love Targas, man. Targas are so sick. But it's bad that this guy just has to stick in his garage. Yeah, I really like that. That's very cool. This guy's driving on the walls, but it's 350. Okay. <laughs> I can't see anything because you took a picture of mostly the, the rest of the... Uh, the sky and, and the background, uh, that's all lit up and then the car is just dark as shit, so I can't see what's going on over there. Next up, we got a Monte Carlo SS. These are cool. This is very, very cool. Is this like on the same chassis, same platform as the, the Buick Grand National? Because it looks so similar. 
Or am I just stupid? Update from last year by 1986 Monte Carlo SS has a lot of the upgrades, new shifter, new digital dash, new side panel gauges. Plus new motor transmission. I love her drawing around town. I like this. I never get to see these in Europe, so it's it's cool to see this. Also, like I said, is this does this share the same platform as the Grand National or something? Because it looks very, very similar. Really, really similar. The body, the, the lights, everything looks like almost identical to the Grand National. At first when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this guy drives a GNX because it was all blacked out. And I was like, no, it's not. It's not. Not really. This motherfucker is driving around in a <laughs> fucking S-Class. A 2015 S550. One of my subs is driving around in an S-Class. That's baller. <laughs> I like the S-Class. I do. They're very cool. Super, super cushy, like luxury cars. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be driving around in an S-Class, but it's cool that you do. This guy sold a Jeep, and he said, here's my Subi, a 2-liter boxer with 165 horsepower. How is it so weak? Is this, like, standard? It's a Legacy, or Liberty, depending on where you're from, I think. Right? I like the Legacy. I really do. Just not this very... But this is, like, the most basic Legacy that you could possibly buy, though, right? Is it, like, non-turbo? Is that why it's only making 165 horsepower? It's that... Yeah, it's non-turbo, because it doesn't have the... the Hood scoop, bonnet scoop, whatever you want to call it for the for the top mount. Yeah, it's it's non-turbo. That's weird. I like these things though. I, I always like this uh, this legacy. I do prefer the generation before this though. I think I think uh, it just looks a little bit more I guess nineties to like early two thousands instead of this thing. I think these came out in like what, two thousand three or something like that? So these are still very very early two thousands, but the uh, they actually look very modern for like early 2000s cars. Am I am I right in saying that? They look really really sick, but I do still prefer the the 90s uh, legacy. I think they're very cool. This is cool. I mean, you don't get to see much of it because you're taking a wide angle picture of the front left corner of your car. Brilliant. It's a 2004 Ecoline against gallons per mile. <laughs> it doesn't get miles per gallon against gallons per mile. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Here we got a little Polo. It looks like a little little starter car, I'm guessing. This is like probably like one of your first cars or something like that. But a little Polo, what, what's this, 6N? 601? 602? I can't remember what this, this Polo number is. Or 9N? Is it 9N? I don't even remember what the code for this is. Yeah, it's a little it's a little Polo. A little tiny Polo. It's like a little early like 2000s Polo. Cool. This guy says it's mine and my Gramps 69 Z28. I like this thing. I don't know if it's yours though. I wouldn't really consider it. I mean, unless you bought this thing for your grandfather, or like unless he literally just gave it to you so you could so so it's yours, like in your own name, I wouldn't really consider this yours. But it's cool. I do still like it. I also I hate I feel like some people ended up uh, doing this. I remember <laughs> I remember I was I was uh I wasn't even on this Discord when it happened, but my mods took care of it. They're like people posting pictures of cars they saw. Oh god, guys, I'm gonna rate your cars, right? I'm rating my subscribers' cars. Then there's some random people just post the pictures that, of cars that they've seen on the road. Like, just random cars. Like, the, the, what is wrong with you? Honestly. <laughs> I'm trying to post pictures of cars that you, that you guys own. Some interesting things. Not some random shit that you've seen on the roads. <laughs> I think there's a comment somewhere where I've said that, uh, but yeah, here is, this is Felicity. Ugh, that's so cringe. Oh my god, don't name your cars. Don't give them, like, names. It's so odd, bro. It's such a weird thing to do. Like, personifying cars is so weird. I'm sorry, it just is. It's just a strange thing to do, like, especially giving them names. Okay, I do like the truck, though. I do like the F-150. I've always uh, loved the F-150 Raptors. I mean, this is a Velociraptor as well. Um, Hennessy Performance Raptor. Uh, well, it's not a Velociraptor, is it? Or is it? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Uh, model system now is a HPE, which is Hennessy Performance. Uh, 575 Supercharged Performance Package American Racing Long Tubers. Um, addictive de Desert Designs Front and Rear Bumpers 1552s. Um, and other minor bits and bobs. I do like this thing. I really, really like this thing. That's very, very cool. <laughs> I like that he uses it as a as a tow rig as well for an RX-8. This sucks. This picture here, that sucks. I hope you guys can actually see when I'm clicking on pictures of shirt. Damn, that sucks. 
how did that even happen? I'm guessing someone hit it, or did you hit it off something? Oh, I got a hit and run in 2016. That's that's what it was. That sucks, man. Seriously. I mean, it's a good thing you got it like fixed up again, right? Yeah. As of last Friday, you got back up and running. Yeah, that's cool that you got it back up and running again. But damn, that sucks, man. Getting hit by a like, hit and run driver it sucks so much. What else we got here? Silverado. I like these as well. 2014, three and a half inch lift kit. Tires, rims, progr rims programmed? I don't know what that means. Um, and intake. <laughs> so well deleted the best pictures of it. Fair enough. I'm not a big fan of these wheels, though. To be honest with you. Are these the same wheels as these? They, look, they don't look the same. They look s slightly different. Maybe they look the same. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the wheels. But I do like the way you kept it dirty, though. That is, that is sick. The only thing I change, the only thing that I I do, I I I'd love to have like an off roader like this. Well, it's not really an off roader, but like a car that you take off roading, pretty much all the time. I'd love to have it like that and keep it dirty all the time. I just end up like cleaning the windows just so I can actually see out of them and the door handles, and that's it. And then everything else, I just I'd love to keep it as dirty as possible because it, it just I don't know. It adds character to like off road vehicles. I just feel like it looks cool. Um, but just stuff that you touch, and just stuff that you can actually see out of. Like glass and the door handles, that's the only thing I'll keep clean. That's it. Everything else, I'll just let it get dirty. I just feel like it's just so funny looking like that. What else do we have here? A Toyota Matrix XR. My parents bought me this. Uh, my, bear, my parents brought me home from the hospital in this when I was born. Now I drive it. Jesus. That is, that is kind of jokes. What is this thing? I know you call it a Toyota Matrix. Is, is this... I'm trying to remember because there's a Japanese version of this car as well. I don't think it's called a Toyota Matrix. It's called something else. Well, this is cool. I like this. It's it's so... It's so Japanese, though. It's so, so, so Japanese. <laughs> I like it. I feel like this is something that you'd see everywhere in Japan. I just don't think that that's what it's called. I actually probably won't see it everywhere in Japan because it's 2004 and they, they don't like old cars there. <laughs> Unless you get, like, literally a car that's been, like, looked after and stuff like that. These are probably uh, getting more and more rare. A TVR T350. Jesus Christ. Okay. I like these. I still like these. Is this, like, a baby, like, Cigaris? Or, like, a pre, like, TVR Cigaris? Or is it post-TVR Cigaris? I don't even know. But I like these. I like TVRs. TVRs are crazy, crazy cars. Uh, still my first car. The tiny but fast smart roadster. I wouldn't really call it fast. But yeah, it's a it's a smart roadster. Never really, never uh, really like these, to be honest with you. I, I just, I don't see, I don't see the appeal. There's like so many other cars that you can get that are like just better than this. I, I'm just not a big fan of this thing. At all. It's cool the way the wheels are really, really close to the edges of the car. Which means that the handling on this car is probably very, 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 very good. Uh, that's the one thing about it. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of um, <laughs> of the car itself, to be honest with you. Anyway, let's move on. A Mondeo. Damn. Is this a Mark 1 Mondeo or a Mark 2 Mondeo? I can't remember what it is. I think it's a... No, it's a Mark 1, right? Because the Mark 2 had the weird shape lights. Yeah, I think so. I like these. I like, you know why I like these? Because my parents used to own one of these, and I never actually got to see it. This is this is sick. <laughs> it's so old. It's so 90s as well. You can see a little bit of rust forming some in some places. It's fine though, because it's old. Don't like the wheels. I should definitely get you should definitely get like original wheels. Unless these are original wheels. I don't think so. I don't think they are. They look like they tried to make them like multi-piece wheels. But uh, but they just aren't. I like this. I, I like old cars that are kept like original. I think that it just look kind of sick. This is Mercedes C180 compressor. These used to be very common in Ireland as well. I mean, obviously the the C class. As as uh, I got older, basically the cars kept changing. But like when this was like fairly new, they, there used to be so many of these in Ireland, especially like C180s. They used to be like everywhere. Ooh, the Mark V Golf. <laughs> You can't go wrong with a Mark V Golf. I really can't. Is that Panamera? It is Panamera. But yeah, but you can't go wrong with a Mark V Golf. 
I mean, I owned one as well. But it wasn't it wasn't just a, a normal golf, it was a GTI, the one that I owned. I owned a Mark IV. That was like a regular Mark IV golf. I think it was like similar spec to this thing. But it was a it was a Mark IV golf. That was like my first my first car. We have a Corolla. I mean I see these all the time. I know that this is like some special one. Uh T Sport Corolla. Yeah, it's just it's just a slightly special Corolla. But yeah, I see these Corollas uh all the time, still in Ireland. Pretty often. My first car I bought with my own cash 2019 Veloster Turbo R Spec, my first manual too. Uh, love the thing, even bone stock. Um, the Veloster definitely grew on me. It's definitely a better looking car than what it was initially when it first came out. This is like the, I guess, the facelift version of the car. Am I right in saying that? Um, this is the, the the newer, the newer look for the Veloster. It's definitely better looking than the old one. I'll tell you that. But uh, it's just such an odd car. It's like a. It's a four-door hatchback. It's just the, the oddest thing ever. And this is the one thing, I don't know if, uh, if a lot of people notice, but this is like the one quirky thing, I guess, about the Velosa, right? From this angle, it looks like the three-door hatch, right? So it has a door on this side, it'd have a door on the other side, and it'd have the boot. Yeah, but you're wrong. You know why you're wrong? Because if you go to the next slide, it actually has two doors on this side. <laughs> so it's got one door on this side, and it's got two doors on the passenger side. <laughs> The weirdest car ever. Like, why? Who thought it was a good idea to do that? And then obviously the the boot counts as a door when you're counting the amount of doors that a car has. And so some cars are three door or five door or something like that in odd numbers because it just just makes sense. But this is an even number hatchback. It's just odd. It's such a weird car. Um, but yeah, it's definitely looking better looking than the than the old one. All right, let's see. <laughs> Actually, I don't even remember what this is. Is this an old Silverado? Is this an old Silverado or is it a GMC? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. Ah, oh, people will correct me in the comments anyway. I'm not familiar with Ford trucks. I never am. Because we just don't see them. Did I say Ford trucks? American trucks, I meant to say. Not Ford. American trucks. I'm not used to seeing them. Because we just don't have them here. American trucks are American, as the name suggests. They literally only sell them for the American market, so... I don't really see them. Not often. Interesting. Uh, let's have a look here. We got Mini. We got Mini that's lower. Is this like... Oh, ew. Ew. Uh, is this a Clubman? Is that what it's called? I don't like these at all. This looks clapped. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mini Clubman is just clapped. I'm not a big fan of the like regular Minis in general, but the... The, the Clubman, which is like a long wheelbase, like Cooper, is just... Oh, God. It's clapped. Clubman, the Countryman, yeah it is. Mini Clubman S, my first car. Coilovers intake. About to get rims, aftermarket, stupid fat. Yeah, nah, don't like it. Not fan at all. Uh, GTI, can't go wrong with a Golf. Again, like I said, 2018 GTI, bagged in stage 2. Not a big fan of the whole bag thing, to be honest with you. Um, you put Audi wheels on it. It's like such a, such a typical, like, Volkswagen thing. It's that people do, is they just put, like, uh, Audi wheels on them. Or Porsche wheels. Or just BBSs in general. I mean, the, the car comes with BBSs as a standard. I'm pretty sure BBS makes makes the standard GTI wheels. Because I'm pretty sure b before, even mine, the one that I had, the Mark V GTI, that came with uh, BBS, what is it, the Monzas? Is that what they're called? Monza or Detroit? I can't remember what they're called. But BBS still makes those wheels. Anyway, and they made the previous GTI's BBS wheels and the one after it. They BBS just makes wheels for the GTI's. I like the GTI. I like the Golf. I like the 7.5 as well. It's just a, it's just a, a good looking car. But I would, I probably would never bag it. I don't know. It's just me. It doesn't look bad at all. I, I feel like uh, people who bag their cars or people who drive around with uh, with bagged cars, especially, they try to make them look like show cars. So they take care of them a lot, most of the time. Like you won't see any rust. You don't see any dents or marks on them or anything like that. So overall. Did very very clean because they cared about they care a lot about the appearance of the car you know so I like that at least about the the cars that are all standstill and stuff like that so I like it even though I'm not a big fan of the bags I do like it ooh yes so here's a mini uh, that's all I said yes uh, mini uh, mini Cooper don't really care for that what I do care for is GTI that looks the same as mine well uh, it's not the same as mine because mine was a three door it's a five door and I had grey wheels on mine. But mine was also United Grey, like this one. I don't know if you guys could 
can you hear the sound or can you see it? I don't know if you can or not from this guard, but. He even has, I don't know if you tinted the lights at the back or is it? I don't think he tinted, I might, I can't tell if he tinted the lights at the back or did he got uh, the addition 30 slash shark 32 tail eyes? Cause that's what I did on mine. I think I'll try to put a picture up uh, on the screen on what I did to mine, but mine was also United Grey and uh, it also looked very similar to that. I mean, I didn't have the, uh, well, the, the badge he, for whatever reason flipped upside down. But I had the uh, I had the similar headlights. I had the I changed to edition thirty, whatever or R thirty two tail lights. Um, yeah, and I changed the rear like valence as well, so it made it look like it was like the R thirty two style bumper. But I still kept the placement of the exhaust on the left as well. I didn't want to change it so it looks like an R thirty two because it's not. But yeah, anyway, you guys should be able to see it up on the screen. I like the GTI though. I like the by five. They're cool. I'm a I'm a sucker for them. Fiesta ST first car. Lowered stage one big turbo, make it over 300 horsepower, uh, 300 wheel horsepower actually. Plus some small stuff, some smaller stuff like a short shift or such a fun car. Yeah, such a, a massive amount of power for such a small car. I don't think like how wide are your wheels? Surely your wheels can't be wider than like 205s. Am I right in saying that? And putting 300 wheel horsepower on a car that has like 205 uh, section tires, especially going just to the front wheels, I just feel like it's just not a not a. It, it's just a recipe for disaster you're just gonna get so much understeer and so much slip all the time you have to be so careful it's just too much power it's cool though but uh yeah i just <laughs> i just don't see that working out well and i feel like i feel like the, the guy let me know anyway a cadillac cts actually i think i've seen one of these recently on the roads you never see these in in ireland anyway but uh, i think i've seen one of these recently on the roads yeah, CTS is a, is a car that's it's just weird because everything at the time, I mean, actually pretty pretty much nowadays as well. Uh, most of the Cadillac's cars look the same; they all follow the same design style. But I mean, you can say that with pretty much all the cars. But like, it's weird because at the time when this came out, it was like the, this front end looked uh, looked like it was put on everything. Like it was on the Escalade, it was on the ATS or the CTS or whatever. They, they put them on everything. It just looks, looks a, a bit weird. It looks like they all blend in. Like, I couldn't tell you the difference between, like, a CTS or an ATS if I saw them from the front, you know? It just looks weird. Uh, but I do like the CTS. I like I like Cadillacs. They're, they're, they're interesting interesting cars. We have right Project Truck, 84 C10, mostly original internals, apart from a brand new water pump radiator. And hosing do deal with upcoming summer heat when we take it. Jesus, what? Hosing do deal with the upcoming. <laughs> That's why I got confused. I thought I forgot to read for a second. It was just this doesn't make sense. The brand new water pump radiator and hosing do deal with the upcoming summer heat when we take it on the hot rod power tour. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like it. I like because it's. I like the, the originality of it. I like that you kept the most original. It's cool. I like these things. And I think someone recently commented on one of my videos saying that uh, we should have some more of these in, in Forza. And I agree. I, I definitely agree. Oh, cool. You don't really see these very often. S12 Sylvia. Is that what it is? That's very cool. I like the S12. You really don't see them anywhere. That is really, really cool. It looks like a Mark III Super, doesn't it? <laughs> or it looks like the, the Celica Super. So the, the Mark... Two? I guess is that what it's called? Would you call it Mark II? It's, the, it's basically like the Celica Super. It looks it looks very similar to that. They also got uh, pop up headlights and everything like that. It's cool. It's just you only sent me one regular picture of it. Uh, this is my first BMW 2020 M340 extra. We talked about it a few months ago in the Eliminator streams. But with 13,000 miles, uh, absolutely missed us in a straight line and lost the drive. Definitely staying with BMW from now on. Yeah, I feel like that's the same with, with anybody, especially if you buy one that's like in good condition. Um, once a person buys a BMW, you it, it'll be hard to go back because the the quality that's there with BMW and it's all just like functional quality. I think when you get to the point of driving brand new BMWs, like literally brand new, brand new BMWs, I actually I, I don't like the interior of them. I don't like the big stupid widescreen that it makes it look like you're in an office instead of being behind the driver's seat. I'm just not a big fan of that. But I think 
it ended with this generation where this car this this thing had like an actual dash and it had like a screen in the center right it, it makes sense but uh, i think anywhere after this it, it'd just be shit so i think i do really like the m340i's i like the 3 series in general the g20 i'm pretty sure is what it's called i do like these a lot they're very cool cars um but uh, and also the b58 banger of an engine absolute banger of an engine so i don't think you can go uh, wrong with this car, but yeah, it's very very cool, but I don't think if, if you go newer than this I think it'll just end up looking like shit inside, but I do really like it very cool car My 2016 Kia Optima EX with Koenigs over steers um, It just looks like a regular car that you see around driving around the parking lot like, like it's just a it's just a regular car There's nothing really special about it. You just put black wheels on it <laughs> That's pretty much it. I'm sorry, it's just it's a very pedestrian car. I mean, I'd say the same thing about golfs and, and that, because they are. But, yeah, it, it is it is just a very pedestrian car. Oh, damn, this guy's a, a F83. Jeez. I like this. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound or not. Cool. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of the slip. I'm not a big fan of the M performance slip thing or whatever that you put on the front of it. Um, and you paint it even the same color as the car and instead of having it the carbon fiber that's that's around the size. That's the only thing I don't like about it, to be honest with you. It's just that front lip. Everything else, I love. I love this thing. It's very, very sick. I don't know. I don't know if I'd, if I'd like to drive an F F83. I mean, I have an F82, but I don't know if I'd like to drive an F83. He put the CS bonnet as well, did he? It looks like it, because it like kind of dips in. I do really like it, though. I think it's very, very sick. The red calipers as well are very, very sick in this thing. Because uh, I have a black F82 and mine are blue. And it'd be so much worse if this if the calipers were also blue on a blue car. So it's so much cooler that it is it is in red. Oh, I found another thing I don't like. He put the little stripes of the, the M stripes on the grill. Blech. Don't like that. I feel like that's the tackiest thing. I see that on like every like regular ass BMW as well. I'm just not a fan of that at all. Like you see that on like like just an M Sport car. Like just not a car that's an M car, but like an M Sport car. Or even like regular cars. I see like loads of people doing that uh, around around where I live. And I hate that. I hate that so much. It's so ugly in my opinion. Well, overall, I really like it. I think it's a cool car. 2003 Cobra convertible as well. Let's have a quick listen. Oh, that sounds sick. I don't know, man. I feel like when people were talking about this car that they don't like it because it doesn't like seem like a Mustang or whatever. I don't care. This thing looks so sick. I love the uh, this generation of Mustang. I think they look so aggressive from the front end. That ho that line that goes across there like that, it just makes the cars look so aggressive. I love it. I love this thing. Very very cool car. This guy has a Nissan 200 SX from 1989. <laughs> <laughs> What's in it? Uh, that's definitely that's definitely a six on there. I don't know if it's got a one J in it or not. Doesn't I don't know if it sounds like it or not. Regardless, very cool. Pig nose. It looks like a like a a, a drift missile. I think he has like some more pictures later on as well. A Celica with TSWs. Not sure what they are uh, because I bought it with them and haven't bothered to take them off. I've heard. I think I've heard of the brand TSW, but this is weird. The Celica GT. Right. The, the reason why this is weird is because the back end of this just doesn't use, I'm pretty sure this is like a the coupe version of this car because I'm pretty sure you can get a hatchback or a notchback version of this. Is that what it's called? I can't remember what it's called. 
But you can get like a hatchback version of this thing where basically this entire portion is like a window and then this entire thing opens up. These are so rare. I've seen, I remember one person close to where I live used to own one of these in uh, in black. And I always thought, and I looked at it and I was like, why does this look so weird? Like the first time that I saw it, I was like, why does this car look so weird? It's a Celica from the same generation. Like it has the headlights that look like that. But why does the back end look, look so different? I couldn't realize it for the longest time. And then I, I noticed what it was. Um, because that's a hatchback and this one is like a coupe. Very cool car. I actually really like these. I think you can probably like spruce this this one up to make it look really, really nice. Basically just a just a bit of a polish on the outside. You can get this paint to actually pop and make it look really good. Maybe change the wheels, maybe give it either original wheels, or if you if you do decide to go the aftermarket route, maybe maybe give it some period correct wheels. I think it could look it could look really, really nice with a bit of a bit of a cleanup. I like it. I think it's very cool. This person's always also driving on the walls with an Audi A1. That's a very new car, isn't it? It's a new A1. I can't even see it. I have to twist my head. Go look sideways at it. Um, yeah. It's like a... This this car just reminds me of, like, any rich person's, like, standard car. Especially girl. The girls. Like, it, it, like it's such a girly girl's car. This thing. If you have... If it's your first car, like, the very first car that you get, and it's like your parents bought it for you, this is the first car that I think of. This and the VW Polo are the cars that I think of when... Out of Fiat 500, of course. Um, but you can't forget about that. Well, those are the cars that girls always get. Like, as their starter cars, their very first cars. Ones that have, like, a decent amount of money. That is. Or, like, their parents bought it for them. Like, that's, that's exactly what I think of. What I think of the Audi A1. It's, it's also one of the most overpriced cars in the world. So, good luck to you on this car. Hopefully, you didn't pay all, all out on it. Because it is stupid expensive. Um, it is the most overpriced car in the world. And that's all I have to say about this thing. And next time, also flip your picture so I can actually see what's going on here. Instead of it having been sideways. Uh, Opel Manta and a Ford Cortina. Very sick. I actually saw Manta recently when I went to Cars and Coffee. Uh, very, very cool cars. Both of them. I love them both. Super, super cool. Manta is such an iconic car as well. I mean, the Cortina as well. But um, yeah, I like them both. Super cool. I like it, I like it, I like it. This is what this guy's driving to school. <laughs> what the fuck? That sounds so good. That sounds really, really good. Damn. I like it. And here's some more pictures of the uh, the pig nose. Oh, this, this is cool, man. I really like this thing. That's a fat ass turbo. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> the Shelby. Uh, what's this? The GT350? Am I right in saying that? Is it the GT350? Or is it just a normal Mustang that has a bunch of, bunch of parts on it? I don't know, you guys can correct me. I don't know. I'm not too, uh, I'm not too, uh, uh, up to date, I guess, with the, the body kits and shit that comes on the Mustang. It's cool, though. I, I always like this Mustang, even when I see it around. Driving around in Ireland, you see it sometimes. Except we always get the fucking shitty EcoBoost and the V6s and stuff like that. We very, very rarely all see a V8 Mustang, but, uh, they're very cool if you get the V8. Um, a shit box full of shit parked, shittily, and shot with a shitty camera. Cool. What is this? Hyundai i10? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it is. It's a grand i10. Whoa! <laughs> Where are these parking spots, by the way? Where is this person parked? It's just a pole. There's surely that's not a parking spot, is it? <laughs> it's just weird. Uh, what's going on over here? Why have you got plushies in the car? <laughs> I feel like it's just distracting. It's weird. All right. Well, <laughs> there you go. This is a Hyundai i10. Alright, well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course, subscribe, like, comment, share, do whatever it is you guys want to do. But that was it for today's video of rating my subs cars. Yeah, like I said, if you want to join the Discord, link to that is down below, alongside with a bunch of other stuff as well, like my Twitter, Instagram, and second channel, all that sort of stuff. So uh, go check that out as well. 
if you want. But yeah, I'll probably try to do one of these again in a few months. I don't know exactly when it's going to be, but it's definitely going to be in a few months time because I'm going to try and lock this channel for a while before I uh, before I do it. So we'll probably get like an, an influx of people joining now and trying to put their, their cards in here. But uh, you guys need to wait until I do it again. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.